Howdy y'all, Big Country here with Big Country Survival. Here rocking the old uh, military issue, my Navy issue watch cap from boot camp. I got, yeah, I got this puppy in boot camp, man. Hardly, you never allowed to friggin' wear it. I tell you. Not in uniform. I, I never hardly was ever able to wear it. And so now, I'm out. It's cold. By golly, I'm going to wear this sucker. <laughs> uh, drinking my coffee from my friends. Don't let friends vote Democrat coffee mug. I'm at Black Rifle Coffee, man. All right. So, yeah, I got my truck running, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I might put another video out, but I don't, I'm don't. i not really going to get too in-depth into that. Because um, the purpose of this video is uh, a VR to the Angry Canuck. I told him I would do one, and I have thus far neglected to do so. Um, mainly because I wanted to have my opinions out on... Or my my beliefs. I, I I wanted to be able to uh, um, what's the word? I uh, I want to get my stuff out there right. All right. I don't want it to be construed as something else. Cause I do. I I am. It is something that some people tend to think of controversially. All right. The homeless. There's a lot of home. And and basically, his thought was. Uh, and you all should go watch his video if you haven't already. Uh, but his thought was, all right, there's some, and, and he cited some reasons, there's some homeless that are going to do very, very well because they've known how to, they've learned how to live with less. You know, and I agree with that. Now, there's others, you know, you're drug addicts and things like that. Um, and they, they're not going to do well. Um, and I agree with that. Um, I believe all, all homeless as a general rule, um, at least the ones you see, they're all in some fashion dependent on the system. They're dependent. I mean, even if uh, a homeless person's eating out of the garbage, um, they're relying on whatever store, restaurant, whatever to be throwing away garbage. Um, you know. Crumbs don't fall off of empty tables. Um, so, I think that there will be some that they will have that benefit, but it's not going to be of learning how to live with less. I mean, they've already, a homeless person, they're already at that level of, I'm willing to do what it takes to survive. Um, you know, I do agree that the ones that are on you know, certain substances, your addicts, druggies, whatever you want to call them, um, they're not going to fare well, but your others, they are already going to be at that level of their, their inhibitions are gone or have been lowered already. They're willing to do what it takes to survive already. So I think they'll do well as opposed to the average person and maybe even the average prepper. Um, you know, your average middle class suburban prepper. And may, maybe maybe they will. Uh, but one thing that hasn't been brought up that I, I really do think of as a, um, a negative, a point against them, and it's not necessarily even their fault. Um, the homeless, and I'm not saying it's right, but it just is the way that society works. Um, the homeless are kind of the modern day lepers. They're the unclean ones, the untouchables, the ones that people look down. They, when you talk about us and them, um, they're part of the them. Um, and like I said, I'm not saying it's right. It just is what it is. 
Um, people look, they see that dirty homeless man and they, they, you know, mamas see their dirt, that dirty homeless man and, and, you know, they hold their children a little bit closer. I mean, I'm not saying that's right. Not saying that's wrong. I'm kind of staying out of that part of it. Um, you know, it just is, it is the way it is. And, um, so when, old uh you know jeffrey the uh accountant and his upper middle class family um have to evacuate because the rioting and the looting is um <clears throat> taking over their little uh gated community um and him and his buddies are out there and their families and his wife and his buddy's wives, they're all griping and moaning, complaining. Because they, uh, you know, have been walking forever. And, and you know, these clothes and, and, and they're just cold or, and are hungry and they're uncomfortable. And, you know, all of this is going on. Um, you know, his buddy, him and his buddies... You know, they're uncomfortable and tired, and they're not used to being uncomfortable and tired. And his kids are whining, and his kids are hungry, and his, you know, and they're all cold. And, and you know, they come upon a bridge, and they see, uh, you know, Herman the Hobo, whatever. And, uh, you know, he, he, for all intents and purposes, is a decent guy, right? He's a nice enough guy. Well, they're going to look at him and, and say... Well, he's just that dirty hobo. He doesn't really matter. And they're going to take their over-under shotguns. And, you know, that they had when they went skeet shooting one time. You know, they're going to take their little over-under 12 gauges. And uh, they're going to clear him out one way or another. Um things like that I see happening because people in their mind are going to make it feel like they're going to justify it that it's okay to do this because he's just a homeless person. You know, he's a dirty, probably a drug addict. People are going to make it that connection in their head that, you know, it's just a little bit better to do it to him than it would be to do it to someone who actually lives in a house. And that ain't right. Flat out, that ain't right. But that's just the way it is. Um, now, if it gets to a certain point, that's not going to matter. Because everybody's going to be living in shacks. And, and, you know, and the person living in that house, it might not have originally been his house. I mean, it just, it'll hit a point where it won't matter. But in the initial stages, it will matter. And so for that, I don't think your homeless are going to do any better than anybody else. I can see where the angry Canuck is coming at. Uh, I can see where other people who have spoken on the subject are coming at, but I don't see them doing any better or any worse than anybody else. You've got some benefits of being a homeless person in an SHTF, but you've got some real disadvantages, um, especially in the initial settings. In the onslaught of whatever the event is, you've got some some big disadvantages, societally, culturally, what have you. Um, anyway, this is my my thoughts on the matter. There will be some that will succeed. There will be some that won't. It's the same in every other category, every other class of people. Um, but ultimately, in an us versus them society. Um, you know, the homeless are the thems right now. They're the modern day untouchables and the modern day, you know, unclean leopards. Le leopards. Lepers. And right, wrong, indifferent. That's just the way I see it. Uh, that's the way society sees it. So, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Till next time. This big country, big country survival. Y'all have a good one. God bless. I am out.